Hey, what's up guys? We're out here filming the new 2019 Pivot Firebird 29er. This is a big bike. 162 millimeters of travel in the rear, 170 up front with the Fox 36 Grip 2 fork. And it climbs pretty good actually. I'm surprised uh, it's such a big bike. Um, Tyler and I have been swapping back and forth between his SB150, which is a 150 millimeter rear travel 29 or 170 millimeter fork. I'd say it climbs really good, you know, better than the Evil Reckoning. Um, probably not quite as good as like an Ibis Ritmo. It's maybe not quite as supple as the 150 by Yeti, uh, climbing over kind of some of these techier rocky sections but it'll get the job done it doesn't feel like it's too floppy up front um, but but maybe not quite as planted up front climbing as the SB 150 I'm five foot eight riding a size medium it feels kind of like a long bike and this is a short a 40 millimeter stem on this bike too the original Firebird 27.5 wheel size was a long bike when that thing came out two years ago. And uh, just to note, I want this to be set on here, that Firebird uh, 27.5 is still to this day one of my very favorite long travel bikes. I wish they would have put a water bottle cage in the front triangle on that bike. And I wish they would have done it on this bike too, but hey, it is what it is. And uh, let's get up there and see what it descends like. Oh my gosh. Just butter. Oh, yeah. Dude, this bike is awesome. We're demoing this bike from uh, Salt Cycles in Sandy, Utah. They are a Pivot dealer, Ibis dealer, and Yeti dealer. And uh, they are kind enough to let me take this bike out for a couple days this week. Man, this thing is just super plush. Anyway, they got these in stock. Go in there and check them out if you're local. If not, head into your local pivot dealer and check out the, whoa, check out the new uh, Firebird 29er. Whoa, lost a little traction in the front there. All right, let's see what this Firebird's all about. Oh man, so composed. That is a lot of plush, a lot of travel. If it's a little slow coming out of those corners back there. Nice. There we go. Man, it just feels bottomless. There we go. Jeez, yeah. Just smashes straight down. You don't even have to pick a line on this thing. You can just pick whatever line you want and just send it. Oh, dude. Not as composed as the SB150. Nope. Yeah, a lot more pop to it. Not quite as much traction. I wonder if I ran a little bit more sag on this, although I got, I got full travel just about, yeah. And on the fork too, it felt awesome. It felt a lot more lively than, uh, than your bike, than your SB150. As <clears throat> a lot more feedback in my hands and feet. And, uh, I mean, it felt bottomless and just really good. Like I'd never felt out of control or twitchy or anything like that, but not quite as planted as the Yeti. This was surprising. It had quite a bit of pop to it, you know, yeah. uh, considering it's 160 mils of travel. Hey guys, just got back from my ride on the 2019 Pivot Firebird 29er 
When this bike first came out in the 27.5 wheel size two years ago, it was one of my very favorite long travel bikes. It just had really good trail ma manners considering it was such a long travel bike. And so when I rode this one today, I didn't know what to expect now that it's a 29er. Didn't know if it had that still, <laughs> I didn't know if it'd still have that same trail uh, manners um, with 162 millimeters of travel in the rear and 29ers. So I was surprised to find out that it was still kind of fun to ride on the slower speed trails. You know, it still had a little bit of pop to it. And uh, I thought it was just going to feel like a big old smash bike. And it certainly is. I mean, it, this thing smashes super hard and just made quick work of Jacob's Ladder. Uh, honestly, this bike deserves to be taken to a bigger uh, terrain. Some trails that are much gnarlier and uh, steeper and rockier, but this is what I've got, and it's kind of nice to run the bikes all on the same uh, trail system. Um, it stays really high in its travel. I feel like I always say that about DW Link, but it pedals really efficiently, even though it's a huge bike. Um, and then descending, same thing it just stays really really high and kind of rides in that mid stroke really nice um i kind of uh coming out of some co corners you felt it kind of come out pretty slow out of those tighter corners and uh you know some other bikes like the sb 150 by yeti it's a long travel bike that still kind of rips out of corners pretty quick the ibis ritmo again it's a shorter travel 29er but it comes out of corners with a lot of confidence and a lot of speed. And this one kind of felt like it didn't kind of, kind of come through the corners quite as quick. Um, it's a big bike though. It's going to be made for more tracks that are high speed, just, you know, just hauling. So, uh, you know, for me, I'd have a hard time maybe having this be my only bike, no matter what terrain I was on, where there's other bikes out there like the um, Ibis Ripmo and the Yeti SB150 that are still big, long travel capable bikes that kind of rip through the slower speed turns a little bit better. Um, anyway, it was super fun just mocking, just hauling down Jacob's Ladder today. I had a lot of fun. Um, we got this bike at Salt Cycles in Sandy, Utah. Head in there and talk to Chris. He can get you set up on a bike. Um, yeah, if you get a chance to demo one, if you're looking for a bike that just can handle the, the gnarliest uh, terrain, definitely give this a try and see what you think. Uh, anyway, I hope the video was helpful today. Um, I had a great time making it fun bike. It, it was really a bruiser. It was a fun bike. So uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button if it was helpful, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.